This dad though is a long time coming because they finally see face to face after so long. This is Son of Adams giving my latest review of, not, of Bleach Chapter 586. It's uh, the Headless Star 3. <clears throat> it starts off with the, you know, with the you know, remaining members of the Soul Society You're going to fight the Stern Raiders. Then you got Basby on his. He's trying to say they are capable of. I uh, made a comment that special combat fighting technique and say no. I say out of my way, out of my way, going to Ichigo. Then it's Ikaku who who, li who makes the first strike. They literally destroy demolishes is the stone on um, right, right behind him. They say we won't let you get this way. Rukia says that and Ikaku and Ikaku. And then you've got Ikaku right now. Oh, Ikaku, she, he manages to... Uh, Ikaku, he tells them that you're not going to get away at things right now. And, and Yuki Tiga is saying that he's talking crazy to him. He starts to Because remember, Ikaku is like Squad 11 and the same thing things for uh, Yuki Tiga. They, they like Kimpachi, they dabble in fighting. And they love to relish it. And what they, and what they fight, they really want to win. I mean, it, it gives them their strength. Then you got Ichigo, he heads for the strength of the tower to go to Juhaba to try to stop him him and all him at and like and things get things get even more sad. As he's going to uh, to stop him 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 he's suddenly blocked by an arrow that tries to shoot him down that way. And, and the arrows come from Uriu. <laughs> Uriu who right now Ryu is right now is confronting Ichigo saying don't and Ichigo is like Thundershock why would he join him him and, and he's asking himself you know and, and you know, why would you why are you here and he's at, and, you, and Uriu is saying to go back home Ichigo and Ichigo said, and he kept saying don't waste your life don't die over here and, and Uriu he, he and, and but Ichigo is saying why are you still here who, why are you here now? Because he's on Juha Box side. And this is right now very difficult for Ichigo to accept. Because even though they may have had their up and down, they could always were good friends. Well, even though they're both Quincy and So, you know, once a Quincy went to So, and the whole mixed relationship with that started this whole war, they really never cared about, they really never cared about each other's differences. But you gotta give them credit for that. Yeah, but I, but Uriu, he doesn't care he, what Ichigo has to say. He just launches his uh, his barrage of arrows. You know, he, Ichigo tries to block, uh, but then but then someone saves him. And guess who? <laughs> Going through the Garganta and saving him you, he, is Odohime and Chad. Yeah, and they're just as shocked as he is to find out not that they're fighting. I'm like, <laughs> talk about awkward, talk about an awkward reunion. <laughs> This uh, this chapter, even though it's very small minded, it was straight to the point, and, and we were and we were wait and we and we were waiting for a long time. Ask so what would Ichigo do if he actually saw Udio? Well, now you know. Um, and as Juha Bak, Hashiro, and Udio prepared, prepared to go to the Soul King's palace, as Ichigo keeps scream Ichigo keeps screaming at Udio. He keeps screaming his name, but his but his cry literally falls on deaf ears. Ears, and he doesn't, and he, and it's not his fault. Uriu is just has no choice but to join him, and, and and we still don't know his reasons, and and we, but we do know that Juha has, has selected him as his successor. What happened when the Quincy event? Talk Killing Uriu's mother, uh, uh, Uriu's mother, Ichigo's mother. Ichigo and Uriu both have the right to hate, hate Juha Bak, but then Uriu's by his side, I, because he has a secret agenda, and then there's Ichigo who did his secret training, training with, uh, with what, with Juha, with, uh, the Zero Division, but he much, pretty much doesn't hate Juha Bak all the way for his mother's death. I mean, we do we don't we do know it was Grant Fisher, but then there's something else. But that but then but he's known that he if, if he went next to Habak wins, that means victory for him in this war, especially if he kills the Soul King. Hmm, he will not stop.
but we still need more. But we still have a lot more time to. We still have a lot more difficulty to render. I mean, even though this chapter ended on such a grim matter, you got to he, Ichigo has to face the facts. Uryu is now the enemy. He's now by Juhabak's side, and no matter how many words he says, Uryu won't change his mind. And and we and Kubo said that this uh, war will end this year, and I want to see it. Well, and do you? I mean, you did. I mean, think about it. This is all about out the final move, the final mo movement that what Juha Box has been planning for. I want to see it. Do you? I, I want to do the same. Th I want to do the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this one. This is Solomon. I'm giving my name to the Boom episode. Oh my God! I just made an ass of myself. Uh, this is Solomon. I'm giving my name to Please, Chapter Five, Eight, Six, The Headless Star Five, and. And and I put the link down in the description. Comment, right, subscribe. Give me your opinion. What will Ichigo do now that he has to face Uryu in battle? I mean, even though they have such so opposite sides, they always consider each other some friends, even though they don't say it out loud. Hope you enjoyed this one. Comment, right, subscribe. Let me know. Signing off.